Earlier this year, QuantumScape, an ultra-secretive $4.3 billion battery startup, claimed to have a revolutionary solid-state lithium-ion cell that could change EVs forever. While Elon Musk commented, this might never succeed. Today, most EVs have a range of fewer than 300 miles, and it takes more than an hour to recharge their battery packs. Then, within a decade, cells lose nearly a third of their capacity, and they pose a serious safety risk due to their flammable materials. With these solid issues, we are going to need new types of batteries or to come up with a new design that could solve some of them. Despite the huge improvements that Tesla and other companies have made over the past decade in the energy density and the lifetime of lithium-ion batteries, the combustion engines are still the best on most performance metrics. So did QuantumScape really solve a 50-year-old battery problem? Can solid-state batteries transform the electric car's future? And what is really the difference between a lithium-ion battery and a solid-state battery? Or in other words, what is the difference between Tesla and QuantumScape batteries? If you've been asking one of these questions, just keep watching. How batteries work The key difference between the commonly used lithium-ion battery and a solid-state battery is that lithium-ion batteries use a liquid electrolytic solution to regulate flow, whereas solid-state batteries use a solid electrolyte to allow the flow of current between the anode and cathode. Simply by transforming the electrolytic from a liquid state to a solid state made all these changes. But what is electrolytic, anode, and cathode? In the most basic terms, a normal battery cell is made up of four components. A cathode, the positive electrode that determines the capacity and the average voltage of a battery, and it's made of lithium. In anode, the negative electrode that stores and releases lithium ions from the cathode to allow the current to pass through the circuit load and is typically made of graphite-coated copper foil. And the electrolyte, the medium layer that plays a key role in transporting the positive lithium ions between the cathode and the anode, and is normally made up of lithium salt. Finally, the separator. That prevents the contact between cathode and anode, and it's made of polyolefin. While the cathode and anode determine the basic performance of a battery, electrolytes and separators determine the safety of a battery while discharging. At the cathode, the lithium ions and electrons recombine and go into the layers of the transition metal oxide in a process called intercalation. The lithium becomes a lithium ion and an electron. The lithium ion can travel through the electrolyte towards the cathode while charging, the opposite reaction occurs. The lithium moves back into the anode. This back-and-forth motion coins the term rocking chair mechanism, which represents how lithium-ion batteries work. In other words, when the electrons want to rearrange themselves and displace the extra electrons the battery got from an external source of energy, charger, for example, to the cathode inside the battery, the electrolyte ensures that the electrons cannot travel directly to the cathode, which saves energy except when you close the circuit externally to feed a load with the energy, like using your mobile speakers or display on your smartphone or any kind of energy consumption. In this case, the electrons are able to travel from the anode to the cathode using an external way. How Solid State Batteries Work In December last year, the CEO Jagdeep Singh introduced QuantumScape Company's mission and vision and how it can change the future of EVs. We need more electric vehicles on the road as quickly as possible. Today's EVs aren't appealing enough to many drivers, and a big reason for that is their lithium-ion batteries don't work like we want them to. The solid-state battery still works in the same way as the current battery, but the change in materials alters some of the battery's attributes, including maximum storage capacity, charging times, size, and safety. The newly added separator material that separates the solid-state battery's lithium metal anode from the cathode and acts as an electrolyte, will shuffle the electrons back and forth in the battery. This diagram shows the difference between the old design of the lithium-ion battery and the new design of the solid-state battery. You can observe easily how the new design could increase the storage capacity, the charging time, and also saving more space in the hardware. But of course there's a catch, or two, with solid-state. To be useful in EVs, solid-state batteries need four key characteristics. They need high current density, which lets them charge quickly. Today's solid state designs only work at low current densities, making them basically useless in commercial applications. They can't have too much lithium built in. Excess lithium results in less energy being stored. 
They need to last. Some solid state designs can fail after charging and discharging just a few hundred times. To be commercially useful, these batteries need to last through hundreds of thousands of miles of driving. And they need to work at low temperatures. Some designs only work at high temperatures, meaning they need big expensive heaters attached to them, making them impractical for EVs. These catches make it obvious now why Mr. Elon shared his experience of ramping up production for his company's vehicles, which was so hard, at the same time with commenting that this might never succeed when it comes to production. But the CEO, Jagdeep Singh, made it clear that they have a working design that has been tested by other companies and scientists, and the results were more than great. The best battery scientists and some of the largest automakers and consumer tech companies in the world have tested our batteries in their own labs and seen what they can do. QuantumScape has been founded and worked for 10 years to enhance the new design of their battery. With over 1.5 billion of committed capital, now Bill Gates and Volkswagen have become the largest shareholders in the company, and they aim for large-scale production after showing that the new battery will make a real change to the future of EVs. What do you think? Will QuantumScape change the future of EVs? If you are an investor, is this a good chance to invest in? Comment below with your answer. Thanks for watching.